Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for you today we're going to be taking a look at the final figure that I've picked up from the Vintage Collection Wave 3 which as I'm sure you'll have already guessed by now looks at characters from Return of the Jedi. Now the final figure I'm going to give you a look at is everybody's favourite little astromech droid and that is of course R2-D2. Um, now not only are the accessories that come with this figure completely new but the actual figure itself is a completely new sculpt. Um, it's been made much more to scale with the new Vintage Collection C-3PO and is quite a little bit smaller than all the previous releases of R2-D2. It's much more to scale with, say, the Clone Wars R2-D2. You know, it's quite a bit, little bit smaller. Um, it's a nice figure. It's good, but it's not great. Um, it's not really this all singing, all dancing R2-D2 that Hasbro claimed it was, but it's definitely a very nice figure. Um, before I get on to uh, the pros and cons, I'm going to give you a look at the packaging that he comes in. And I've decided to keep this one carded, um, just because I thought that the uh, card artwork and the figure inside the package just looked awesome. Um, this is the first time that a drinks tray R2-D2 has been released on a vintage card, and that's shown on the back there. You've also got the uh, vintage collection description there, as well as the rest of the wave pictured along the bottom. As you can see, the figure inside the bubble there, you can uh, get a good look at all the accessories that come with this guy, and I'll get onto those in a moment. Um, now, the first accessory um, that is included, and probably the most noticeable, is of course the drinks tray. Um, now, the very cool thing about these are um, that each of the individual cups that are on the, on the tray are not actually um, attached. Well, they are attached, but they're not like stuck in place permanently. Um, each cup has a little hole in the bottom and the drinks tray itself has pegs all of the way around it so you can slot the cups into place and they do stay in place nice and tightly so you don't have to worry about losing them um, he also comes with the drinks dispenser on the top of his dome and he also comes with a few pop out features the first of which being a small arm um, on the front of his um, panels or on his chest I'm going to call it just open up the, uh, the small door like that and you've got the little arm that pops out which is cool and if I just remove all these top accessories I'll give you a look at the pop up features on the top of his dome um, now unlike most R2 units um, this particular figure the um, centre leg descends up inside the body and once you push that up which is what I'm going to do now the sensor scope pops up now this would be a cool feature if Hasbro had attached it properly. Um, once the sensor scope is in place inside the dome, it doesn't clip into anything, it just kind of sits there and kind of wobbles around a little bit. So if you've got this figure on a shelf set up like this and you knock it over, then the sensor scope's going to go flying and the odds are you're going to lose it. So I think Hasbro really could have you know, looked at that before they brought this figure out onto shelves. Um, in place of the sensor scope, you can take that out and perform the same feature but with Luke Skywalker's lightsaber hilt. Now I'm sure we all remember that scene from uh, Return of the Jedi when R2's up on the sail barge and Luke's on the skiff and R2 throws the lightsaber to him. Once again, perform the same action, just push the centre leg up and the lightsaber hilt pops up. But once again, it doesn't clip into anything and it's just kind of free to wobble around and get lost. So That's not probably the best feature that they could have included on this figure. Yeah, just pop the sensor scope back in. Um, he is wheeled on the bottom, as you can see, and for some strange reason he's got a peg hole on his centre leg, which I don't quite understand. And overall, he's just a hes a decent figure. He's not great, he's good. Um, I really like him. Once again, really like the matte finish on the dome. And um, before I forget, in terms of articulation, he's just you know the same as all the other astromechs. He's got swivel shoulders and hinged ankles, and overall just a great figure. Very impressed with this one. Um, before I finish up this review, I'll give you one last look at R2-D2 with the drinks tray attached. This is definitely a figure you need to pick up to serve um, Jabba the Hutt himself. So definitely a figure worth picking up if you can find it. So if you've enjoyed this review, and I'll be back with some more soon. Until then, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.